let's understand how can we go ahead and use moving averages for better option trading. So to start off with, what are moving averages? So moving average is nothing but, you know, average of the price. So if you go to concept charts, by the way, you can access the charts in our application. So to download, you know, to, to access the app, you can navigate to the link in the description box or over here in the iCard as well. Now, if you go to indicators and just type MA, which is a short form of moving average. Okay, so over here, you are getting to see that this is a nine period moving average, which has been plotted. Okay, so what do I mean by this? So this blue line that you're getting to see on the graph. So let me just change it. So if you click over here on the setting button, you can change the style. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to just thicken the line a bit so that we can see it easily. Okay, so now I hope, I hope this uh, blue line is easily visible. So now if you see this nine period moving average, so what it is doing, it is taking previous nine trading sessions. Okay. And it is dividing, uh, you know, it is adding the sum and it is dividing it by number nine. Okay. So basically a nine period moving average means that the data of, uh, you know, last nine days, it, it is, it is showing us an average, a simple average. Okay. So now what is uh, the trade behind it? So let me explain you how can we trade using this. So see, over here now, the moving average period, it can depend from trader to trader, person to person. Okay. Generally, what a lot of participants end up using is a, a 20 period moving average on a daily chart. Okay. So a 20 period moving average on a daily chart is something what a lot of participants plot and how they go ahead and trade. So trading system is very simple over here that whenever the price goes above this moving average line. Okay. So whenever the price goes above this moving average period line, that is like a buy signal for everybody. The reason that the recent prices, they are moving in the upwards direction with the momentum. Okay. So understand it in this way. In last 20 days, whatever the prices were, they were a bit slow, but the recent prices, they have react. They have started to react a bit faster. So that's a buy signal. Whenever the price is above the 20 period moving average, that is a buy signal. Typically, whenever uh, the price, okay, the price that we are trading. So whenever that is above the moving average, okay, be it a 5 period moving average, 10, 20, 100 period moving average. Generally, that is considered that, you know, the price is a bit healthy. Again, it depends on the input that you are giving. But typically, whenever the price is above 20 period moving average, that is generally a buy signal. Number one. Number two thing. Now, we are trying to trade this crossovers, right? If I say not a crossover, but what we are trying to trade is that if the price cuts the moving average line from below, that would be a buy signal. If it cuts the moving average line from above, that is a sell signal. Apart from that, what we can do is we can also observe the, the slope of the moving average. Okay. If the moving average is trending upwards, that will indicate that, okay, the market is more or less in the bullish condition. If the moving average line is going downwards, edging downwards, that is, that means that the market more or less has started to face some bearishness recently. Okay. So two things on a simple 20 period moving average, price cutting the 20 period moving average from below, that would be a buy signal. Okay. This is my moving average price going above that from the below, from below, that will give us a buy signal and price going below the moving average. Okay, or 20 period moving average on a daily chart that will indicate like a sell signal. Apart from that, we can also observe the slope of the moving average. If it is trending, uh, you know, if the slope is upwards, that means there is positive price actions happening in the market. And if the slope is downward, that is negative price actions happening in the market. Now we can use one more moving average. We can use two moving averages along, uh, you know, at the same time. And we can trade the crossover of the moving average. Okay. Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. So I have plotted a nine period moving average over here. So if you see there is orange line on the graph and also there is blue line on the graph. So the recent average is the orange line. Okay. So the smaller average is the smaller line. So now what the trade, what is the trade over here? So trade over here is simple that whenever this nine period moving average. So in this scenario, whenever this orange line cuts the uh, blue line from below, that will be a buy signal. Whenever the orange line cuts the blue line from above, that would be a sell signal. Okay. Simple, a smaller period moving average 
cutting a bigger period moving average from uh, you know below that would be a buy signal and whenever it cuts the moving average from the above that would be a sell signal okay what does this indicate this indicates a very simple scenario that the recent prices okay so in this case there is a crossover happening of nine period moving average over a 20 period moving average so there is a buy signal over here okay but why there is a buy signal because it is trying to tell us that the recent prices they are reacting a bit faster and they are moving up in the upwards direction a bit faster so that is a buy signal recently what's happening so recently if you see that there is a crossover thing happening in the market wherein the nine period moving average has cut the 20 period moving average a smaller moving average has cut a bigger moving average right from the below which will indicate a buy signal right so you know market has more or less turned into a positive mode over here according to moving average now we can smoothen these moving averages a bit more and then i'll tell you what are the option strategies that you can deploy so you know you can use a simple macd okay so what's macd macd is nothing but it is you know moving average of moving average so it is a 12 and 26 period moving average and a difference of that as well okay so over the over here the trade setup is very simple that whenever there are histograms appearing on the positive side that is a buy signal for us so over here if you see on 31st of march there was one positive tick or one histogram which is getting formed on the upside so this is a buy signal for us we will continue this trade till there is a negative you know or uh, or the histograms getting formed on the negative side right so over here simple let me just show you one or two trades so this is where we started to buy the index right this is where we started to buy the index when there are few histograms on the upside and we will continue this trade till when we can continue this trade till this is happening till till the day a negative uh you know a histogram is getting formed right so now we understood how can we use moving averages to identify you know market trend or market's mood and how can we go ahead and easily use them for in our trading now we will quickly understand uh, what are the strategies so now see you know the moving average thing was one of the aspects of technical analysis you can use any technical analysis but can we go ahead and amplify that trade right can we go ahead and optimize the reward to risk and you know the answer is yes now when we are trading options you don't know if you want to buy should you buy a call option should you do a bull call spread should you do a bull put spread should you do a ratio call spread or a butterfly right so, so there are over 180 million combinations and permutation of option strategies meaning if i'm bullish i can deploy 180 million combination of option strategies right so how can i decide which one is the best so what i'll do i'll let the optimizer do the math i'll go to optimizer i click on find strategy let's say looking at the moving average crossover and MACD. let's say for an example i am bullish on the index okay and i am bullish till this expiry okay till 13 and i am expecting market to go around 18000 okay i am giving random inputs but you can uh, go ahead and calculate it maybe on charts or you know using simple pivots but anyways 18000 is where i am looking at the target and i am setting a stop loss at 17400 these levels can dip, differ here and here here and there but what the idea is the idea is to refine or to add a statistical edge to our existing trading system okay then i click on optional parameters now the application will ask the optimizer will ask you what is the type of capital you have so i'm saying the application that i have five lakh rupees of capital to deploy in a single strategy risk then the tool is asking us okay, how much risk are you ready to take on this this entire strategy if you are deploying this strategy what is the type of loss you are ready to take on the stop loss then other simple inputs such as minimum strike, maximum strike, IV skew down, skew up. Okay, if the IV goes up by X percentage and X, X percentage down, then you know how it will impact your strategy. It is showing us that. And maximum legs, how many legs you want in your option strategy. Outputs, self-explanatory. How much outputs do you want once you hit apply? So I'm hitting apply. And yes, that's it, folks. If you just see, there is bull call spread with eight reward to risk right eight is to one that means if you are creating this type of strategy okay if you are creating this type of strategy then even if you fail in the market four to five times okay if you are de deploying the strategy let's say 10 times 
And even if you are right, even for four to five times, still the strategy will make you money because mathematically the strategy is very strong. So if you click on any of the option strategy, so the name will be mentioned, the reward to risk would be mentioned, target profit, that means on target, how much profit you would make, stop loss, that means if stop loss is triggered, how much loss you would make. Click on this and you will get to see on what various levels, how much profit or loss you would end up making in this option strategy. So, you know, all, all these analytics you can easily access on uh, the link in the description box below and also in the iCard. Further, you can, you know, analyze the strategy in the option architect tool in the app. You can save it, right? And, uh, you know, yes, folks, that was it. How can, uh, you know, how can you go ahead and add uh, more edge to your trading using moving averages? But before that, I would like to say, analyze your strategies before uh, taking any trades. Uh, you know, trading in options market are subject to a market risk. So always go ahead and take a calculated risk. Contact your financial advisors before taking any trade. This is just an educational video. So yes, folks, thank you so much for joining me up till here. Bye-bye, take care and see you all in the next video.